folks, Mikey McGee here. In today's video, I want to go over my clover field, which to you, it doesn't look like clover field at all. It looks like weeds. And I'm gonna also update you on my corn over here that I have a little, a little test. I've got a little test going on between rough plowed ground and tilled smooth ground. So I'll show you that. But the main focus of this video, clover. I spent big money putting this clover in. This is that expensive Imperial Whitetail Clover. And I paid the top dollar for it because I wanted to get some good clover here for the deer. And I was concerned from the very start, what am I gonna do about weeds, grass, and problems that's gonna choke it out? Well, this is the third year that I've had it and I've learned some things. And a lot of people, when it got to that stage, they would feel like they lost their clover and they would plow it up and replant. That is not necessary. Your clover is still there. I'm gonna show you what to do to keep your clover field, and it's better than ever. Let's get out here and get with it. So first of all, let's do the update on the corn. This side over here was tilled smoothly. This side over here was rough plowed. We planted it directly into the rough plowed ground, and you can see a difference. There's pretty much a distinct line right there that shows you the difference. I had several people a little upset with me and said you should have tilled the whole thing. And right now looking at it, it don't really look like that at all. It looks like the rough plow ground is doing better, but it's not finished yet. We've got about a month left before frost. This is strictly for silage. It doesn't have to completely make. We're gonna make silage out of it just before it frosts. So it's gonna be exciting to see. Stay tuned for that. Today is an absolutely gorgeous day. After that hurricane blew through, it has cooled off. It feels like fall is in the air. It's coming. So it's time to do this. Time to get this clover exposed to the sun. I use the weeds to give the clover a little relief from the intense heat of the 90 plus degrees that we have in the summer. It looks like that's about over. I'm going to mow it and I'm going to show you in a few days, I'm going to come back and show you what it looks like after the clover gets some sunlight. So let's get out here and mow this and we'll take a look and see what it looks like. and the weed kingdom is very well represented in this field. There's a lot of bees and butterflies that are utilizing this, but I have acres and acres of other places that I'm leaving for them. This is my clover field. I've got to do due diligence to get this, to keep it going and clean it up. So what you'll notice is I am putting a huge load of biomass into this soil that's gonna feed this clover. The weeds and grass are also there, but that's not a problem at all. They provide shade for the clover, they provide food for the clover, if I manage it properly, and that's what this video is about. I've got one other field that I need to knock down, then we'll take a look and see how it works. All right, it's been about a week 
We've given it some time for the clover to get some sunlight and a little bit of rain. We haven't got a lot of rain. We got another hurricane coming, so there's gonna be plenty of rain. And you can see right through here, it is really coming up thick. It just needs more rain. It would be way better if we'd have got a couple inches of rain. So you can imagine this winter when it gets some hard freezes, those weeds and all that grass is just gonna go poof and lay down. The clover is not gonna lay down. It's gonna stand up and get vigorous and good and just in time for deer season. And that's what we have it here for is deer hunting. So it's pretty exciting that through simply mowing, we can have a great crop of clover for our hunting. So that's the whole purpose of this whole thing. And of course, that clover's pumping nitrogen in the soil. If I ever decide to turn it up and raise corn here, which I have in the past, it'll be no problem raising a crop of corn here. You can see my corn out there. I got a field over there. And this corn right here, really doing good. And I've had clover in all those areas last fall. Now there was one guy that just planted clover here recently, commented on the video and said he's having a problem with weeds coming up with the clover. I don't think that's gonna be an issue because we're gonna have frost fairly shortly, like within the month. And that's gonna just knock everything out. You want the clover to have the root system develop before it gets real cold. So I would just leave the weeds and the clover together. The frost will sort it out. I hope that helps you. That's all we've got for you today. We hope you have a great day. We'll see you on the next video.